It's interesting. Um, so I would say that like by far the most successful market for my book is China. China, we've done over 600,000 book sales in China. And so, you know, why China? And and I would say that uh, East Asian East Asian culture is often a lot more about kind of team dynamics and working together for the collective goal. And that's that's a lot of what growth hacking is about. And so I think I think they they are kind of closer culturally to being able to adopt it and do it well. So kind of the opposite of that is actually America. So <laughs> United States, um, you know, we 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 really pride ourselves on kind of independence and autonomy in the United States. And and so um it's you have a further way to be, go in the United States and kind of like a culture of ownership, for example. You own this metric, I own this metric, and we trust each other, do our do our jobs, but we stay out of each other's way is kind of the starting point in the United States. And it turns out that the that that approach in the United States is not a good approach for growth. And it's weird. I would think a culture of ownership and autonomy is really good, but growth, you know, what that ends up doing is creating disjointed experiences for a customer. So, you know, marketing brings them to the front door, kind of product keeps making the product better for a lot of organizations for a long time, that, that, that space in between marketing and product, no one owned. And so it became this black hole where you lost a lot of customers. Um, and so, you know, to be really successful, you need to be able to get teams working closely together to, to, have a customer experience that that's really uh, a fluid customer experience about getting them to the right experience and getting them back there often. And so growth hacking when it's successful actually looks the same in China or in the United States, at least in my, my experience. And um, it's about having a team that works well together, that has a shared understanding of growth, has, has a one metric that dominates all other metrics. We call the North star metric, uh, agrees in a test learn process where everyone knows that when when there's an opportunity to get more customers to a more valuable experience it doesn't matter which team owns that we're going to work on that opportunity to maximize to maximize that to to improve it and so um i think successful growth hacking surprisingly looks the same it's like, it's sort of like saying uh again i i think growth hacking and the scientific method are almost the same thing. And it's like, well, what does the scientific method look like in Turkey versus uh, the Netherlands? You know, the truth is it's, it, it looks the same. It's about hypotheses and testing those hypotheses and looking at the data. And so I think where culture comes in, it's, it's more about uh, what are the challenges in getting a group of people to execute it. And so that's, that's probably that's probably where the culture piece comes in, but the the success actually looks surprisingly similar across different cultures.